Good morning, it's Fish, the Beach Bum Investor. I thought I'd build a Bitcoin formula for you today. Uh, we've had good growth all over the market, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a tip on how I'm getting my figures and how I'm projecting the, the growth patterns and more, more the eventual price that I can see for these coins. Let's do Bitcoin. It was uh, Satoshi that started it all, so let's do uh, some due respect and do Bitcoin. We're going to start with a couple of facts and then we're going to build in a couple of assumptions to complete the formula. Very, very simple maths, and I'm sure it's easy for you to follow. So we're going to start with a couple of facts, which is global PPP of 107 trillion, roughly, not exact. That's actually a 2014-15 figure. Uh, and we're going to use the US dollar percentage of the global PPP at 22%. Uh, that's where it stands at the moment in best estimates. So we're going to use those two facts as the basis of the formula. And now we're going to build in some assumptions to see where Bitcoin can get to in the future. So the first assumption that I've made is that one day the crypto economy will make up 10% of the total world economy. So assumption number one. Assumption. Assumptions. One. Crypto. Equals 10% of global GDP. Oh, sorry, of global PPP. L. Okay. Now we do have to make a second assumption to complete this formula. And what I'm going to use is that the that Bitcoin will hold the same level of dominance in the future crypto economy as the US enjoys in the in the fiat economy today. So we're going to use assumption two Bitcoin uh, PPP is equal to US dollar PPP, which we know is equal to 22% from up here. Okay, so we've got everything we need to build our formula. Now all we've got to do is substitute in the, the actual figures, and we'll see what result we get at the end. So here we go. We start off with the uh, World Economic PPP of 107 trillion. 107T. Just put dollars there. We don't need to do US. Blah. Okay, so we've got uh, 107 trillion. We're going to use 10% of that because we are making assumption that crypto will make up 10% of this one day. So that brings us down to, um, we divide that by 10. I'll just put here divided by 10. And that brings us to 10.7 trillion. Okay. Now, to get that into the same level of dominance that the US dollar enjoys, so Bitcoin to enjoy that same level of dominance, we need to multiply it by 0.22, which gives us 22%, the same PPP percentage that the US dollar enjoys today. So we multiply that by 0.22, and that brings us to a figure of 2.354 trillion. Uh, 2. 354T. Okay, so how do we get our actual per Bitcoin price from that? It's very easy with Bitcoin because we get to go, we know that there's a, a, a limited circulating supply, eventual circulating supply of 21 million. So to get our end figure of Bitcoin, it's as simple as dividing 2.354 trillion by 21 million. And the end result we get, I'll just read it off my Excel spreadsheet for you, is... 112,000 and $95.24 and that is US dollars. Okay, so there's our, uh, our Bitcoin formula. Uh, I can see this happening. I don't, I honestly don't think that Bitcoin will hold that level of dominance at 22%. I think there's flaws with Bitcoin. And I think that other, uh, other currencies might have uh, done a better job <laughs> of providing the services of currency. Having said that, I see Bitcoin as an excellent store of wealth. So whilst I wouldn't necessarily make this assumption, I did want to use it off, uh, oh, sorry, this assumption here. I, I did want to use it off some real, work, uh, real world economic numbers. I see Bitcoin's dominance actually dropping to about 10% one day, and I could be very, very wrong with that. But I think the altcoin market provides too much value. Anyway, that's my opinion. 
and that's my Bitcoin formula. So my first target <laughs> is $112,000 and uh, sorry, $112,095.24 US. Uh, you do your own formulas, you can easily substitute your own how much you think the world will go to crypto, how much you think Bitcoin will hold dominance. But at least by building these simple formulas, you actually give yourself a really uh, solid profit target. A really solid figure to go for instead of just going, oh, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000. They're, yeah, they're all possible figures. I, li I like 10,000 actually. I did some modeling of my own and I think it will get there eventually. Uh, but anyway, if you believe that crypto will make up 10% of the global, global economy and you believe that Bitcoin will hold the same PPP as the US dollar, that's your own price. <laughs> so happy investing. I'm out for now. Take it easy, guys.